Thanks for coming along, guys. Um, so the first, the first thing to note is that basically we have a, a team in the UK. They're very much research research led um, and the biggest thing they basically go around and look for the best areas to invest in and the biggest thing that they look at is government infrastructure investment um, government infrastructure investment often means economic migration uh, that can be commercial and residential economic migration often means uh, often means a wage increase and wage increase is often a good indicator for property price increase so we like to have a nice balance between uh, a strong yield and a, and a capital appreciation as, as Tim touched on earlier so one of these cities is Birmingham um, Birmingham is one of our most popular destinations for investment at the moment so a few facts it's actually the second largest city in the UK population of 1.2 million and this huge thing when we talk about tenants uh, it's actually the largest financial hub outside of London uh, next next slide please Tim so to look to look backwards first of all over the last five years Birmingham property has actually gone up 6.6 percent per year so it's a, it's a strong market um, what this kind of how this all started was 10 years ago Birmingham had a new council come in and Birmingham city centre has really transformed over the last kind of five, 10 years. Um, so we've got a few examples of those infrastructure investments, Tim. So the first one to note is Birmingham New Street Station, which is very kind of futuristic, state-of-the-art uh, train station in Birmingham city centre, um, which is again is transformed. That's the first thing you see when you come into the city. Second is Paradise Birmingham, which is kind of commercial and financial centre. Third one is Smithville Market, so that's 1.5 billion regeneration. That's going to be where the old Birmingham markets were. If any of you have been there, they're moving that out of the city. And it's going to be kind of food and beverage, commercial and, and residential. And that leads me nicely onto the HS2. So for you, sorry, next time, please. For you guys who haven't heard of the HS2, it's basically this uh, new state-of-art high-speed train. So phase one is going to go from London to Birmingham. And then phase two is going to go from Birmingham in that Y shape. It's one's going to go up towards Manchester and Preston. And then the other is going to go Derby, Sheffield, Leeds, that kind of way. So phase one has actually started already. They've broke ground and, and it's underway. So currently, to go from Birmingham to, uh, to London, Houston is 75 minutes by train and by 2028 they're saying 2026 2028 but we know the UK is slightly slow sometimes so let's say 2028 uh, you'll be able to go from Birmingham Curzon Street Birmingham city centre to London Houston in 45 minutes so that's that's an absolute game changer for us uh, next slide please Tim so what this has meant um, again so 120,000 120,000 financial services job in Birmingham uh, so again, when we're looking at kind of tenants, we're looking for those young professionals. Uh, the average age to buy a property in the UK has just gone up to 34. So that's kind of that, you know, uni graduates up to that 34 years of age. They're the kind of tenants that we're targeting, young professionals. So as you can see, all these kind of large corporations have got large offices in the UK. So uh, in Birmingham, sorry. So this office bottom left, HSBC have regionalized all their backroom staff to Birmingham city center. Next door, the building that's actually complete now, that's HMRC, which is uh, inland and tax revenue in, in the UK. And as you can see, PwC have got this big office called One Chamberlain Square. Uh, next, next slide. The other thing to note is so BT, British Telecom, who some of you may know, they've also regionalized all their staff to Birmingham. So again, you know, these corporations can actually, they'll, they'll get the knock before um, before the people will see it and they'll hear about these this new HS2 train and then sorry this new HS2 train and they're already starting to move there. So next slide please turn. So the area that we really like in Birmingham uh, is called Digbeth and it's a part of this regeneration called the Rhea, uh, Rhea Valley Urban Quarter. Um, so they're really going to try and as I said regenerate the whole area really and that's where we kind of focusing our energy. Next slide please turn. So this is a little uh, map of the current city centre. So to the left or centre left is more the financial district where you can see. 
uh, to the right is the HS2. So that's where HS2 Curzon Street is going to be. And then this big red block down the bottom right is uh, the Rio Valley Urban Quarter. And there's actually a little sign saying Apex Loft, which is the development I'm going to show you. But that at the moment, that's going to be kind of like a, they're hoping it's going to be like a, a Shoreditch kind of vibe. They've got um, Digworth Dining Club at the moment. They're getting kind of arts and, and cultural things there. And there's going to be coffee shops and bars. So it's going to be quite a kind of edgy, cool place to be. Uh, next slide. So this is a this is a CGI of what they're hoping. I mean, it's not often that sunny in the in the UK, but that's what they're hoping. Uh, next slide. So this is a little map of again of this kind of Digbeth area. So this red. Uh, kind of shape on the top left that's going to be the Smithfield Market 1.5 billion pound regeneration that I touched on uh, and then the big kind of long right line on the right where Tim's pointing that's going to be the HS2 Curzon Street um, so you'll be able to go from there to London Euston 45 minutes and then this circle down the bottom that's our development that we're, we're kind of showing you today called Apex Loft but to top the whole thing off, if Tim could show me just to the right of the red circle is a main road. So there's already a uh, metro line in Birmingham, but they're extending it to this Digbeth area. So there'll be a tram stop about 20 meters from the development. So you'll be able to go, you'll be able to walk out of your, your apartment, you'll be able to go to the tram station and you'll get to the kind of HS2 and the financial district in three to five minutes. So it's a real kind of game changer. Next slide, please. So onto the development. So here's a little CGI. Um, some details, so it's 80 apartments, so it's a nice size. I mean, we, we go into a lot more kind of detail when we can have one-on-one -on -one with you guys or any, anyone that's interested, but there's a bit of a snapshot. So one bed prices are from 220,000 and two beds are from 290,000. Um, so if you're looking, let's say a 25% deposit, let's say for a one bed, you're going to need probably around 60,000. Um, once you kind of look at um, stamp duty and things like that, you're going to need, need around 60,000 minimum. And then the two bed prices, you're going to need probably 80 to 90,000. So nice low service charge and ground rent, which is good for uh, yields. And the completion of this is next year. So it's Q1, Q2 next year. So, and then all of our, all of our properties have a 10 year build warranty as well. And leases are minimum of 125 years, but most of them are 250 years plus. Next slide, please. So again, kind of targeting that high-end high end tenant, um, the, the young professionals, so it's a, a nice high-end finish. Um, next slide. How can I help you in two ways? First of all, are you an expat, a high net wealth individual, or just somebody who lives in a part of the world where it's difficult to get access to quality investment solutions? In which case, go onto my website on adamfire.com and find out more. If you don't fit into any of those categories, then in which case there's a range of free material on my website, on this YouTube channel, and indeed on my Quora, where I get over 200 or have received over 231 million views uh, in the last few years. And finally, if you want to uh, actually read my thoughts in more detail, go onto Amazon and find my book on there.